Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, Today's video is on Max Bear Jr. once more. And the reasoning uh, that he didn't do the return of the Beverly Hillbillies movie uh, is probably not why you think. Um, it's actually kind of interesting how to just get a little deeper into it. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, when asked, uh, when Paul approached uh, Max Bayer for the return of the Beverly Hillbillies, uh, did you feel it wasn't good? And he said, no, I'm just too old to fully play Jethro. I'm a man, not a boy, personally. I don't like digging up the dead bodies of old shows. I don't like to see return of Doby Gillis or Gilligan's Island and a lot of those. Certain shows will lend themselves to growing up. We were almost like caricatures. We would not grow old gracefully because it would not be charming to have a 40-year-old man play this idiot. It's not charming at 40. It's charming at 18. To have Buddy come back, that's fine. And if Irene was alive, uh, to have her do it, that's fine. Age-wise, they didn't change. We did. If they would have two new people instead of Donna and myself, maybe they would have something. And that was actually my suggestion. The premise bothered me, and I didn't want to play Jethro for the rest of my life. Uh, if the script had been better, would he have done it? No. As a matter of fact, for the last 20 years, I've only done about 10 parts as an actor. Reason being, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do Jethro. I rarely do guest spots on weekly series, but I have done about one a year lately just to keep up my insurance with the Screen Actors Guild. I just don't have to. I made a lot of money in movies with the ones that I own, so I don't have to work. I'm not going to do something that I do not want to do. And when asked, did you watch the movie when it aired? No. I heard it was poor. It didn't have the charm. Granny wasn't there, and to me, Granny was the show. But he was a great straight man, a terrific actor, and a nice guy, but Irene was it. Without Abbott, there would be no Costello. <clears throat> there you go. And honestly, I kind of figured it was something like that, but I also figured that the script had something to do with it because it was really terrible. But uh, apparently he didn't even get that far before uh, declining. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there today. It's on uh, Bob Seger coming out of retirement just for a short while. And classic TV facts and trivia. Uh, the death of Matthew Perry, who played Chandler on The Friends. A uh, little tribute to him and uh, news about what happened. Uh, so this is all I have for you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, have a great day. God bless you. And I will be praying for you.